Jupiter, our friend or enemy? Jupiter, a huge gas giant, also the biggest planet in the solar system. Is it friendly or not? You will get the answer in this video. Everybody thinks that Jupiter protects us from asteroid collisions and makes us safe, but the truth is the opposite. Scientists made an animation of asteroid impacts headed to our solar system without Jupiter, and the result was shocking. Asteroids hit Earth three times less than with Jupiter. Jupiter's gravity is 2.4 times bigger than surface gravity here on Earth. That's why the scientists thought the giant gas planet pulls all of the rocky space debris to its side. And that is actually true. Jupiter prevents us from asteroid collisions, but also can pull them right towards us. With its mass being nearly three times bigger than all of the planets in our solar system combined, you can't really play with it. If you can't imagine how big Jupiter is, its diameter is approximately 11 times more than Earth's. With its massive gravitational force, asteroids can't pass the planet. It is nearly impossible to make it out of Jupiter's force if you are an asteroid. That is why are we saved next to the orange planet. So we can say that Jupiter is indeed our friend. Well, not at all. It actually drives more comets and asteroids into a collision course with the Earth, boosting the overall rate of impact. So it is our friend and enemy at once. Jupiter is good at deflecting comets and asteroids for Earth, but bad at sending danger towards the inner planets. Now let me tell you more about Jupiter itself. Jupiter is an interesting planet as well as Saturn and Venus. It has a stunning number of 79 moons, which some of them are well known. Out of these 79 moons, only some of them looks like the moon we imagine. Others look more like asteroids orbiting the planet with a diameter of less than 16 kilometers. For example, Ganymede is the biggest of them. Europa is the most interesting, and it could be life there. Callisto's surface is the most heavily cratered of any object in our solar system, and Io, the most volcanically active world in the solar system, has big lakes full of silicate lava. Jupiter itself is also pretty wild. It is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, much like the Sun, but it would need to be a lot more massive to be an actual star. Did you hear about the Great Red Spot? No? The Great Red Spot is 16,000 kilometers long, unstoppable storm that has been spotted in the 17th century, a persistent high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Jupiter, producing an anticyclonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. Jupiter has nearly all around its surface winds that reaches a speed of 640 kilometers per hour and helium storms. There are currently 92 satellites orbiting the planet, collecting data about everything. So you may ask, could a spacecraft be able to fly through Jupiter? Well, if you would send a spacecraft there, after a very short time, the spacecraft would crush and melt because of the gravitational force. So the answer is no. Anyway, Jupiter's temperature reaches about minus 110 Celsius. Jupiter has indeed very small rings like Saturn, for example, but they are so small that we can't see them unless we really focus on them. Another thing is that Jupiter doesn't orbit the barycenter properly. If you don't know what is barycenter, it is the center of mass of two or more bodies that orbit one another and is the point about which the bodies orbit. If I say it the easier way, it is the gravitational orbit of Jupiter to the Sun. The mass of Jupiter is so big that it drags the orbit it has with the Sun. Thank you for watching and be ready for another interesting video. See you later.